Hey, what's up, guys? You got Dom back again, bringing another Pokemon showdown live. And I know I've been absent a little bit uh, for these last couple days, or it's been like a week, but um, I've had finals and stuff going on, you know, so school's more important than YouTube, so I've been paying attention to that. But I'm finally done, I'm on winter break. So I'm going to be doing something special. This is my favorite other metagame, uh, Stabmons. And what Stabmons is, is your Pokemon can learn any move that is the same type as them. So, for example, Latios is Choice Scarf with Clinging Skills, Psy Strike, Earthquake, and Hidden Power Fire. Palisand has Moongeist Beam and Spikes. Uh, leftovers and it's gonna be Max Bedef. Cartana is Scarf with Sunsteel Strike and Power Whip. Magnezone is Choice Specs with Ma Thunder, uh, Magnet Pool, Thunderbolt, Full Switch, Flash Cannon, and Hidden Power Ground. Just the same reason it is. It's the same reason you use this set in um, OU for Celesteel and Skarmory as they are pretty common in stab mons right now. Then we've got three hazards plus Explosion Fortress and as well as Red Card because people like to set up on this and lead uh, with their leads and then they get phased out and then you can just explode on whatever comes out next. And as long as you have rocks up, pretty much you're good to go with just spamming S Choice Scarf, Sleep Talk, and Roar with Kamala. And it actually outspeeds uh, base, what is it? Uh, 123 and above with that, or 122, whatever Greninja and uh, Tornado Star. So, really cool team. It's really fun to use. People get really frustrated playing against it. But, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and jump into a battle. Um, Stabmons isn't a super active uh, ladder, but we actually got one right off the bat. So, yeah, this guy has the exact same idea we did, ironically. So, I'm just going to lead with Magnezone. He'll probably just forfeit. He has no reason not to. And we can just, uh, we don't have Hidden Power Fire, so I'm just going to have to spam Thunderbolt, I guess. That does a decent amount, that's a 3 hit KO, solid. <coughs> there's the spikes, and there's the thunderbolt. And then all we have to do is bring in our Kartana and click uh, Sacred Sword whenever we get in. So there's the roar, Fortress is gonna come in. I'm just gonna explode on him, I guess. There's the Kamala. And I'll just sleep talk, I guess. So I didn't know this is a thing. Uh, I just, I was just thinking about Stabmons, and I was like, what can I use Stabmons for to be really obnoxious? And I saw Kamala, and I was like, oh, if that thing got roared, it'd be sick. And there, now we bring in Latios, and now it is about to go down. We can click Psy Strike. Beautiful damage. There's the roar out in the fortress again. If you had a full team, this would be a huge annoyance to me. And we'll just go for a Volt Switch. And we'll go for a Sleep Talk. And he keeps getting the Speed Tie, which is really funny. As soon as we get knocked back out in the Latios or uh, Cartina, we're still in a good spot, though. But you see how annoying this is? He's doing it to me just because um, he's getting really good RNG. But he doesn't have a way to win again because we have Cartan and Lottie at uh, full health. Or not full health, but basically full health. Come on, stop cycling the same stuff. Good lord. Out comes Palisand again. And it's going to go to Magnezone or something next. Here we go, Latios. Beautiful. And we just click Side Strike again, and that's going to be GG. So this was more of a gimmick team. This one's like more functional, I guess. I really would like some fire covered or like a fire mon on here. There's just not like, I wish there was another fire steel tap that was more offensive than here. And like it was fast and had good uh, special attack or attack. Uh, so we can definitely put in work with Kamala. The problem is we have to get rid of Mantine first. So what I'm gonna still do is just lead off with Fortress. He's gonna lead off with Chandelure. I'm gonna get my rocks up. He goes for the Moon Guys Beam, and of course he goes right out in the Mantine, so I'm just going to spam Rocks here. Should be fine. And then I can just spam uh, Roar with the uh, Komala, as long as I have these Rocks up. And I have more Stealth Rocks than you have Defogs, my friend. So Rocks are there to stay. Um, he's probably faster than Magnezone, so I'm just going to bring out Komala and spam Roar. <coughs> and we should be good to go. His Tapu Coco is faster than us, unfortunately, but we still have the Magnus Zone and the Palisane in the back for that. Beautiful. So, even if he's Scarf, we do have a decent amount of Spadef and we're max HP, so we can take any move he wants to go for. Even if it's a Blue Flare. And we know he's Scarf now, so that's really good knowledge to have. And what we can do here is just go hard in the Palisand. So he's going to U-turn out and do his Mantine. Good play. 
um let's see how do we play around this so this is the only thing besides gyarados that's up in the air so i think i'm still good to just uh let's see let's go into latios here and we can just start spamming side strike a little bit or even clinging skills might be fine yeah let's go for clinging skills that did nothing oh my gosh that did nothing i'm gonna go into magna zone here i guess i'm just gonna go for oblivion wing i can't volt switch because of the hip out on so i'm just gonna go for i'm gonna go for volt switch anyway though he actually makes the obvious thing goes into it so now i'm i know he's gonna try and play like that uh later on uh i just fucked up because he can get his own rocks up let's go back into let's go into cartana here we can also pull off the reverse sweep with Cartana, <clears throat> as long as we can get enough boost with Power Whip. He pulls a nice double in the Chandelure, but I don't know if Night Slash knocks him out, but I'm willing to bet on it. Nice, Chandelure is gone, and we get our boost. I'm guessing Gyarados will come out now, yep. There it is, old Gary Gary the Gyarados. And let's go in on Latios. I don't think he's gonna go for a crunch here. He's gonna mega evolve and go for a crunch. Well, I guess there was really no reason for him not to do that play. Now, do you have, well, I can just go for power warp now. I mean, he does have his own Cartana, but I can also go for sacred sword, I guess. But I'm just gonna go for the power whip here. Any damage I get off on Cartana is good damage. It's not terrible. And what we can do now is, let's just sack Kamala because it's not doing anything right now. <clears throat> He's gonna go out and hip out on. Let's go for the roar. And I'm gonna sleep talk again just to roar him out so I go down in the sandstorm and I can get some uh, momentum. And I know that he's not Scarf Cartana, so that's really good uh, knowledge to have. And again, we can go out in the Cartana. And I'm just gonna click Secret, uh, Sacred Sword this time. Actually, I still have no reason not to just Power Whip. Gone. We get that boost. The booster boost gonna bring in its own Cartana and I'll just go into uh, Palace in here I guess I don't know he's being he's playing really like try hard so I feel like he's gonna pull a double into something hip out on yeah I'm not really too worried about that um I'll just go for moon guys beam I guess get a little bit of damage off that did a decent amount of damage and let's go for the Go into Cartana here. As he brings out his Mantine. And let's just go right for it in another Power Whip. Beautiful. Oh my gosh, that thing just dropped. Good lord. He must have been Max Pedef. Yeah, from the way he took that uh, clinging skills, he had to be Max Pedef because that was ridiculous. Or maybe not Max, but like near, near Max. Um, Am I free to just go into Palace and start getting up spikes now? I think I am gonna go for autotomize i'll just go for the moon guys beam that is going to knock me out good lord uh we might be in trouble now because he definitely has sacred sword he definitely has sacred sword yep that's gonna be gg damn man and we'll grab another one the team's definitely not bulletproof like it Especially in stab mods, you you have to like watch out for things setting up literally every time you turn around. So you you don't really know, I guess, what's coming out every time. And as well as Kamala only being like as fast as it is, and the fact that things like Mantine can capitalize on this team really well because it can always get rid of hazards, uh, even around Fortress. And it it, it really just hint, uh, it really just depends on if you're able to get rid of the things that get rid of hazards as well as keep hazards off your side of the field. And uh, you know. You just have to make plays sometimes. So that guy was making a lot of try hard plays, and I should have kind of like saw through the th saw seen through the things he was gonna do. But <clears throat> I'm not expecting to have like high caliber players like at the bottom of the ladder on stab months. Although granted, a lot of people just play it to play it. So like just because they're not high doesn't mean they're not good players. Um, I really think I'm safe to leave Magnum Zone here, but uh, I don't know. Do I want to do that? I still think Fortress is just fine here because he doesn't have hazard removal, and I could just spam the um throw a roar with this. So let's go for the Stealth Rock here. He's gonna go for the Swords Dance. Beautiful, I love when they set up on me. 
He might go for a flame charge or something to try to get the speed boost, but I will still get the red card off and that's awesome. What's the volley is he ghost? Um let's throw off a toxic spike. <clears throat> and throw off another spike. There's the sacred sword, and he should get red carded out. Beautiful. We'll get this next spike up, and then we can just go boom. <laughs> See, this is like a perfect team to capitalize on. That the other team was kind of uh, well built. It had Hippo plus Mantine. Uh, Cartana was a huge problem. We can boom right here on this man, and then we can bring in Arkham. Yeah, he's gonna forfeit there. He knew it was about to go down. And we'll grab another one. What kind of time we're looking at. 10 minutes, 53 seconds. So we should be able to grab like two or two, one or two more. One or two more. I'm trying not to make the labs go on too terribly long lately just because like uh, contention rate and everything. Like I want you guys to watch it and not be like, oh my gosh, I have to watch 15 more minutes of this. Like it's it's interesting, but it's not like interesting enough for me to sit there and watch it that long. So I think like a like 20, 25 minutes is like a really solid time to have a live. Unless you're like Poke game or something and like you just want to watch an hour long video. Or if you guys like long videos, like, I don't know, just, I'm doing this for you guys, like, I, I just think it's fun, I'm not really trying to get anywhere with it, uh, so whatever you guys want to watch, just let me know, and I'll try to cater to my fans, or not fans, but, you know, my subs. So I'm gonna pause it till we get one, because it's taking a little while, like I said, the Stabmon's ladder's not super, super, uh, hopping, popping, so, yeah, I'll be right back. Alright, and we got one, so as you can see, there's only three freaking battles going on, uh, not counting mine um and most of them have this guy in them so what we're gonna i don't know if i played him already but regardless i'm just going to bring in fortress i see he's gonna lead with Faramosa, and i'm just gonna get rocks up he might just go right for like rsv or something so he's gonna set up on me and just go for tail glow uh again did we even play did we play him in this lab already i don't know um i'm not gonna get toxic spikes up just because toxic is there but i'm gonna start getting up my own uh my own spikes. Um, I expect the attack to come here, so I'm just gonna go for the boom. <clears throat> There's a secret sword. Doesn't even bring me down to sturdy. And we can boom on Celesteela, bring in Magnazone, and trap that. Beautiful. That is awesome. All right, in comes Magnazone, and we'll just go right for this Thunderbolt. Unless he's like random. Uh... No, let's go for. Uh... I think Volt Switch will knock him out. It should. We'll go for Volt Switch here. He goes for King Shield. Unless he's Shed Shell, we should be in a good spot. In which case, he'd go hard into Garchomp. In which case, I'd go hard into my Latios. So he's actually fast enough to uh, deal with that. Let's see. What do we do here? Guess we can go into Palace End. I don't really know what he can do to me. I'm going to go for the Flamethrower. We eat that like it's nothing. And let's go for a Moonguys Beam here. He goes for a roost. All right. Um, I'll go back into Magnezone. Easy. All right. He goes for the Oblivion Wing. I don't know. Yeah, he doesn't have Earthquake, so we're good. Oh, Flamethrower is his only move to attack me, so I'm just gonna go for a Thunder or another Volt Switch here, actually. Well, I don't know. If he goes for King Shield, he lived on it on too much last time, so we'll go for the Thunderbolt this time, just to make sure this thing dies. And we can also keep this in the back for Toxapex, and uh, I guess that's really the only utility it's going to have here. We could also trap Cartan as long as he locks himself into a grass move, <clears throat> and, we, uh, and he's not, uh, and, he, and if he's not uh, choiced, if he's not choiced, then he can just go for Sacred Swords or whatever he wants to do. We can live one as long as it's from full and he has an SD or anything. So here comes Garchomp, and I'm just going to go hard in the Latios again. Just because I think he should DD here. Beautiful. And we are Scarfed. Uh, this is literally the reason that I Scarfed this. Because everything wants to set up. And base 150 with the Scarf is really, really nice. So we can just go for the Clinging Scales there and knock that bad boy out. And I don't think he actually has the switch into Clinging Scales anymore. I mean, he has Toxapex. But what is Toxapex going to do? Because that's doing a lot of damage. It's base 110. It's not quite a Draco Meteor, but it's like more or less a free Draco Meteor. Or more or less a free, a little bit weaker than Draco Meteor. Um, let's see. So I, wanna, I don't think he can really do anything to me, though. That's the thing. Yeah, that's a clean to a KO. So he goes for the Steam Eruption. That does literally nothing to me. And we'll just go for another Clinging Scales, and I think that's going to be GG. 
Ah, the Baneful Bunker, though. He can just switch out, but I mean, he doesn't have anything to switch out into. Gartan is not going to live that, especially after Rocks and Spikes. Even if it did, just because of the resistance, it's Spadef is like absolute crap. And just the Rocks and Spike damage, I'm pretty sure, puts it in range of clinging skills. That might, in all honesty, be what he brings out here. But even if he does do that, I'm not worried about it because we still have our own uh, Komala as well as our own Kartana. <clears throat> and I'm just going to go for clinging skills here. There's no way this thing lives this. No way it lives it. Yeah, that's gone. GG. Pheromos is confirmed not Scarf, so we can outspeed that as well. I'm really excited to see this damage. If this doesn't die, then I'm going to be really shocked. Goodbye! Goodbye! I'm at minus 6 defense. Literally a fart in the wind would knock me out right now. And we should definitely outspeed this, and we can just go right for a cleaning skills. Unless he has first impression, that would be really cool on Pheromos. Though. GG. And we'll try and grab one more. I don't know how successful it will be because, again, like, let's see how many battles are on the ladder. Yeah, there's only two battles on the ladder again. So I'm going to pause it again just because it's going to take a while to get that. And, uh, yeah, see you guys in a minute. And we are back, and we have our last battle of the game. Uh, again, he does not have any hazard removal, and it doesn't look like he'll have anything faster than Komalo, unless he's Scarf Chomp or DD Chomp. So we'll have to see about that. I will just leave with Fortress. I have no qualms about that at all. I can even throw up Toxic Spikes, which, uh, in all honesty, uh, I'll probably get up Rocks and then a Toxic Spike. That's probably the best case scenario for me here. Uh, let's go ahead and get up our Rocks. That first thing is first. And I also, it's awesome because I don't have to worry about him setting up because we do have the Thousand Waves. <clears throat> beautiful so he sends out the gastrodon and we can just get up our toxic spike as he shouldn't really have anything to bring in here steam eruption is kind of scary but we're actually faster than this thing that's insane um he's probably just gonna knock us out here so i'm just gonna need to get up another spike i think i could boom i guess but all right so he's gonna bring out the zygar 10 percent again he was lumbarian so that's popped and we can just go for the boom he should knock us out with thousand waves but regardless like i'm fine with that it doesn't make me any difference beautiful so that's gone <clears throat> i really don't think he'd be scarfed that would just be really strange um let's see if we can bring out the latios and just spam honestly we could just spam playing skills if we want um i'm gonna just bring out kamala though because i'm really banking on him not being scarfed and we should outspeed him so i'm just gonna go for the sleep talk throw on the timer real quick he should know what's about to go down or at least when he does he's probably gonna just drop Beautiful. We are faster. We bring out the Diggersby, though. Please do not be Scarf. See, that's the scary thing. I can't risk him being Scarf. He could also have Shell Smash, so I think I'm just going to go for the Sleep Talk again. So he's got Fake Out, so he's not Scarfed. That's a problem, though. That's definitely a problem. Are you serious? That's really frustrating. That's super frustrating. I don't know if that crit mattered, but regardless of the fact that like he has that in general... So that was my whole game plan gone. Um, we'll just go for uh, more layers of spikes, I guess, or earth power. He's gonna bring in the hip out on. He's gonna get poisoned at least, so everything's gonna be getting whittled. I'm not really worried about rocks getting up very much. He kind of has to slack off here, and I can just go for another earth power. And there's always a chance of getting the uh, sweat F drop, but he's actually just gonna let me take him down. So that's really cool. I think Gastrodon's most likely coming in here, but we do have the, uh, we are maxed with death and we have Water Compaction. Wait, Water Compaction doesn't absorb Steam Eruption, my bad. Um, I don't really know what our switch is going to be to that. I think in my best play is just in all honesty going to be spamming Earth Power or Shore Up. This is definitely going to do a lot to me. Um, I could alternatively go into Cartan or Latios. I think Latios is the safe play. Would you go for Ice Beam here? No, he just goes for a Toxic, which is fine. I'll just go for a Clinging Scales here. I do need to keep this in the back though for the uh, Garchomp. Maybe Side Strike is better here. Now nah, we'll go for Clinging Skills. That does not do anywhere near enough to him. Ah, oh, yeah, Shore Up. I mean, there's no real reason for that, but that's that's cool, I guess. Um, I think what I want to do is just go into Magnezone here. Magnezone is literally bodied by this team. There's a Steam Eruption. We should be faster. And I'll just go for a hidden power, or I'll just go for a flash hand, I guess, or hidden power ground. Yeah, I'll just go for hidden power ground. So he knocks me out, and this puts him in range of a clinging scales, but I'm just gonna bring out Cartana because I can also just keep going for power whips. Granted, I can miss this. It's actually very easy to miss this. I kind of wish I had Leaf Blade just, just for that reason right there. And here comes the Earth Power, and we actually live it, thankfully, but we have to hit this next power whip. 
of course of course I really do not like ending on a loss and we still have to contend with that diggers beat oh man that blows that blows a lot and he still lives come on I'm gonna want a palace in here because we are taking way too much damage there's the shore up we get the plus two defense boost but we're still gonna go down to this next move so it's not really gonna help us I'm just gonna get up a spike I guess he's faster than us though no no I'm gonna go for uh, earth hour and I'll spam cling scales now we're gonna go down in the next three turns and we're gonna go down to fake out so it's not really a big deal but as you can see, I think if we hadn't gotten crit by the uh, Diggers B, and if uh, we didn't miss the Pyro, we would have been in a lot better spot here. But, you know, the team works works sometimes. It doesn't. It's a gimmick team. It's not supposed to be competitive. So, uh, yeah. Not really too worried about it. Probably just going to E-speed me. No, he's going to let me get my kills. That's solid. And out comes the Doug Trio. So he's being kind. He's letting me get all my kills. Dougie's gonna go down, and then we're gonna go down to the Toxic, unfortunately, and then uh, Diggersby would have just won there, so that's gonna be GG. So I hope you guys enjoyed this battle. We got two wins, two losses. Oh well. Um, but I really, I think it's really fun. I had a lot of enjoyment playing this. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. I'm glad to be back, and I will be bringing you guys a lot more content. So yeah, y'all have a great day. Peace.